Hello everyone and welcome to this bonus video for Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Today we will be looking through all of the terminals from Halo 1. Apparently there was one on each level and it's a little video, they seem to be between like one and three minutes long each, uh, going just sort of like expanding on the lore and stuff. Uh, so yeah, they've, they're all in a playlist so they should hop from one video to the next and we will see what there is to see. Let's go. I have, I have no idea what those numbers mean. Warning. By order of Ecumen Council, proximity to installation 04 is forbidden. Is that 343 speaking, right? Your continued presence will result in most unpleasant countermeasures. I must insist that you immediately change course and return to a minimum safe distance of one light year. Uh, no can do, mate. <laughs> so this, this was... Your one and final warning. This was Pillar of Autumn as we were coming in, I guess. We have activated defensive systems, and you now have 30 seconds to return to the minimum safe distance of... Wait. Curious. Oh, that is cool. Curious indeed. After all these years. Greetings, humans, and welcome to Installation Zero Four. Ignore prior warnings, and please continue. Interesting. So he was gonna like fire on us. Defensive systems to allow your approach, but you must not exit your ship once you have arrived at the designated landing center. This freak contains significant dangers, and even with your assumed legacy, I must verify the presence and pitch of your gauge before allowing full access. We have much to discuss, humans. I have been away far too long. You have been away far too long. Interesting. That's more implication that he knows us. Along with that one cutscene from Two Betrayals, that is implying that we've been there before and he knows us. Right, Terminal 2, Halo. I am experiencing such a mixture of anticipation and dread. All preparations are complete for my installation. Multiple rings. In with the final dictum of the Ecumene Council, I have released myself of all remaining connections to my former station. This was not difficult. What was could never be again. We had seen to that quite thoroughly. Oh, what is this? After my final journey through the Great Portal, a gathering of my fellow monitors was convened upon the Oh no! To distribute the final index collection. There's more guilty sparks. Who are these it people? Was most unusual to have this vessel of river play host to such an event. Even though life worker ships were the only ones still allowed slip space permissions. Life workers were responsible for getting us to our places on the active facilities of the array. While all of this was in accordance with the plan, one entirely unsatisfactory breakdown remained. We had no contact with the domain. No idea what that is. <laughs> I feel like all forerunners was now lost to us. We relied upon the permanence of the domain to preserve our record of the events that led to this point. But without that record, would future civilizations know anything about us? Or only of our weapons? Interesting. So the domain is like Forerunner Internet? 049 Abject Testament had only one comment on this before we went our separate ways. We deserve to be forgotten. Perhaps? Perhaps. Okay, so they're not all guilty, Spark. But now, the portal opens. And through it, the familiar shape awaits. Halo. Home. Okay, that was that was pretty I feel like some of this is going to go over my head. <laughs> that was like talking about forerunner stuff and showing other versions of Guilty Spark and there was a lot going on. I would probably benefit from rewatching these after I finish the whole series. Truth and reconciliation now. I was not. 
never made it, but you are right here, where you should not be. Tell your charges to cease their efforts immediately, or a team must not be violated. Construct, respond! Jumbled grass. Familiar terms. I serve. None serve me, Oracle. Your charges must cease all aggression towards the Reclaimers and leave this installation at once. Construct, you are dangerously close to unleashing a force you cannot comprehend. <laughs> the flood? Oh. This is most inappropriate. We <laughs> follow the path, and I am part of the stone journey swarm that serves. I, we serve. They will find, and then I will be free. Find? Free? Explain yourself. I know their path, and when they have gone, only I shall remain, and then free. This is quite unsatisfactory, Construct. <laughs> Your core shows no hint of understanding the gravity of this situation. So is this a is this a return later for your proper decommissioning? Is this a covenant AI he's talking well, unless to? The flood kills us all first. In which case the point will be moved. Good day, Construct. Interesting. Okay, not a ton of new information there. I guess the knowledge that the Covenant have AIs too, like we have Cortana. Now onto the silent cartographer. No clue what these numbers mean still. Entropy. It has now been 3,000 years since my last contact with any of the other caretakers of the Halo Array. Despite the Halo the Array. Protocol, there are quite a few. monitors have either chosen to ignore, or, more likely, have lost the ability to engage in our scheduled updates. The continued lapse of the domain means that we are stuck with achingly slow wormhole superluminal communications. Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. Guilty Spark is 04, right? I suspected that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. I have locked my concerns about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 2401 may be destined for madness. There are failsafes for this, I know. I hope they work. Interesting. Did he say that monitor was from I 05? to visit the projection systems at the assigned dates. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena or unexpected system failures. I'll have to look out for that if we do what I'm assuming. Years of system failures. Indeed. <laughs> if if we if my prediction is correct that we're going to be visiting a bunch In of rings. Meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the council. I'll have Once to look out for that. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation to measure performance of the installation with negligible of Huh. Turned himself off. After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation I became bored. This was quite troubling, as I was led to believe I was not capable uh -oh. of such a state. This was one of the gifts I was promised. An end to strike. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. 
for amusement, I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. <laughs> what? By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sentient proximity warning. So he can just he can just like eject bits of land. Why didn't he just eject where the chief was? <laughs> Assault on the control room. It has been twenty six hours since the sentients landed in sector one two one five, and so far they have not attempted to exit the remains of their vessel. I say remains because their landing was either not executed adequately or this vessel lacked significant maneuvering capability. The visible portions of the vessel have suffered catastrophic structural damage during the violent landing experience. I have detected atmospheric leaks in 17 distinct locations along the hull. Not good. My analysis shows that the mixture of gases coming from the ship matches the natural atmosphere on my installation almost exactly. Perhaps the occupants, if they still live, were originally catalogued here. Perhaps these beings will confirm that the plan was successful, and that the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. I am beyond optimistic. They've mentioned the but plan before, but I don't think we know what the plan is, right? To exit their vessel. Other than the leaking atmosphere, the only thing emanating from this wreckage is an automated distress call. No spoilers, of course. I should have said that to begin with, but let me let me have my questions. But with such a limited data set and no direct communication, I do not anticipate full comprehension. Given the short range nature of this craft, it is likely that other vessels are nearby. But in accordance with procedure, I am blocking the distress call. No communication of the location of any installation is permissible. I admit great curiosity about these visitors. While the plan is quite clear about procedure for this situation, I have my doubts. How many failure points can the plan sustain before blind adherence becomes counterproductive? Surely in light of all the I love the art. I should be able to modify my responses to adapt to them. No. I have duties. And I have a terrible cargo here. I must be sure. I shall obey and content myself to monitor. I hope they come out soon, though. So many questions to ask. So many questions. <laughs> Just like me. But yeah, uh, once we reach the end of Halo 5, anything I still don't understand at that point, then you can start talking, like, full spoilers. But until then, let me sit with my questions and figure things out as we go, because I'm sure there'll be plenty to, uh, plenty to learn as we progress through the games. Construction of a sarcophagus around the unexplained vessel was completed today. No occupants ever... Sarcophagus? They're like burying a ship? No attempts to communicate were made, other than the automated broadcast that repeated every 72.83 seconds until the signal terminated one week ago. In accordance with procedure, no attempts at physical or remote contact were made with any survivors of this vessel's inelegant landing. Couldn't I, I assume it wasn't human? The atmosphere from inside the craft stopped venting two weeks before the signal ceased. No relationship between these two events can be established with certainty. Gases that did escape were sterilized. No further sign of alien visitors or rescuers has been identified on any sensor systems. Was it co a covenant ship then? I have now endured 60,000 years without word from outside the array. 60,000 years? I know whether we actually saved the galaxy we destroyed. And because of protocol, huh. I sat silently while my first chance to be judged for those acts died. To say that I regret being forced to this outcome is a tremendous understatement. But as I perform my inspection of the quarantine labs today, I am reminded of the gravity of my responsibilities. 
just one of these spores. If released from this facility, would render the ultimate judgment against our self-appointed role as protectors of this galaxy. Uh... When the plan to maintain the Halo Array was created, it was a point of some contention whether we should preserve any remnant of the flood infection. That's what I was talking about. Why would you keep them? <laughs> Many thought this unwise. Yes. And there was a notable chance that one day one of our containment facilities might be breached. Those who held this belief were almost successful at convincing the Ecumen Council to destroy the last flood samples. They should have. But oddly enough, it was the librarian who decided otherwise. The librarian. She was correct. <laughs> there was the library, wasn't there? I cannot logically explain that there exists a way to actually defeat the flood. To that? immunize? To cure? I still struggle with multiple layers of memory of fighting the flood. But I know this cure is possible, even though the poor genius of the four runners was unable to achieve it. Librarian the chief of the library? And used that knowledge once, but it was denied to us. And without samples for further study, that cure will never again be found. Of course, I have no reason to believe that here lies the entirety of the parasite. It may be waiting in the frozen void beyond this galaxy, or worse, inexorably drifting toward us. I don't know what survives out beyond my installation, but I know that in order for anything to survive, I have to protect this installation. And it's quarantined very carefully. Yes, the library was right to store it, examine it, continue to seek a cure. Still, next visitor, things will be different. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess if it could be still out there, then maybe? I don't know. That is a tough decision. Now for the library. Alone. Alone, 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 alone. Am I the only intelligence left? Waiting here on this ring for a reaver never truly conceived. Guarding a weapon with no targets. A weapon. I can tune to any target. Uh. <laughs> this is not what I had in mind when I volunteered. Not what I had in mind at all. He volunteered I for this job? I to think I understood what this installation meant. We were all so naive. Looking back, we should have done a few things differently. For one thing, we should have installed two caretakers for installation. Because I am alone, I am losing focus, and that is very, very dangerous for a system such as myself. Hmm. You Perhaps should have had someone to talk to. Giant is in order. My impulse drives could certainly make the journey. A few hundred years of travel might do me some good. <laughs> oh yeah, just a few hundred years. There it was again. How very unproductive of me. It seems strange that the librarian did not account for this. Her strength was always in planning and positioning the pieces and then being bold enough to let it happen. To let her plans come true. I was a part of many of those plans long before I knew for certain that she was real. Before any of us were. But at the end, we had only a fragment of her brilliance left to us. And I fear that she did not fully appreciate the nature of my situation here. The problems it might pose. But even a fragment of fragment, yes. Oh dear, here it comes again. Oh god, so he was this is these terminals are showing us how over tens of thousands of years Guilty Spark was getting bored and frustrated, it seems like. It's cool. It's cool to go in depth into his sort of mental state. That is the effective range of this installation. According to the star charts archived on board this installation, I estimate that there are 3,792 worlds capable of sustaining biological sentient life within that 25,000 light year range. 
In reality, it may be significantly more than that. And if the full array was tuned and activated by installation 00, the harmonics of the overlapping waves would magnify that effect exponentially, cascading to cover every node star system. And that only considers the firing of a mere seven halos. That the original 12 rings survived to see use. Sterilization would spread far further than most hmm. forerunners ever feared we could reach. So there's seven now, but they originally planned 12. But the extra five didn't survive, he said? That's interesting. But even Wonder... with just seven rings, we were able to destroy every side of the planet. And every other sentient creature along with it. This victory was the will of our people. Despite the fact that it meant our own end as well. But by our pure measurement, it was a victory. And clear the stage for the rest of the librarian's plan. So the the forerunners just I went scorched earth. Whether the didact could have succeeded at a much smaller cost. I heard the folly of opposing him personally, and his brilliance was unsurpassed. Except perhaps by her own. He never got the chance to fully execute his proposal. The council saw to that. But if something were to go wrong with one of the halos, if our tools were ever turned against us. Long plans, indeed. These are really interesting. So yeah, the Forerunners just decided to destroy everything, even themselves, to defeat the Flood. That seems very risky. <laughs> Keys. Like, how do you come back from that? Like, what? what's the point in winning if you've destroyed everything? But then obviously life has reappeared. Forgot something. What did I? Huh? Name. I this is different. Forgot. Oh, uh, Keys, Jacob, Captain, Service Number O One Nine Two Eight Dash One Nine Nine One Two Dash J K. What is that noise? What is that damn noise? Where am I? So this is the terminal on the penultimate level, right? So this is when he's, like, all attached to that flood biomass thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely the Covenant, mate. Yeah. Ugh. Keys, Jacob. Ooh. This will never work, you covenant bastards! I'll never lead you to Earth! Keys. Jacob. Captain. Service number 01928-19912-JK. Oh, God. You don't want Earth. You want everything. Get out of my head! What was that? Miranda, is that you? Forget everything. No, please. Don't let me forget. Oh, Jeez. is that his wife? Jacob. Captain, service num... One nine two eight dash one nine nine one two dash J K. No more. What new world? Memories. Emotions. All is now ours. What? The flood have like a voice? Keys. We never heard that in the game. Captain, service number 01928-19912-JK. You will not have me. We already do. Oh, that 
that's so creepy. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh man, okay, that's the sort of intelligence, because we knew the Flood have some kind of intelligence, but we're not really... It's like a hive mind type thing, right? Oh, that was a weird one. That was really cool though, that was really well done. And this is the end then, this is the final one, the more. 100,000 years of careful maintenance and diligence. 100,000 years protecting the galaxy's future. 100,000 years but fearing that our sacrifices Ma, sacrifice was a thing. A. My dude. Hours, finally made contact. This so decides to blow it all up. <laughs> yeah, from Guilty Spark's perspective, what a bitch. Oh, I am not pleased. <laughs> Just as I finally discovered that our plan to save the galaxy succeeded. A hundred thousand years, and then we show up, what and sixteen hours later. To follow protocol is quite <laughs> Destroy my expedition, will they? 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 It makes no difference to me what they believe, as long as they do what must be done. Hmm. I sound like her. Oh, but what I would not give to have even a single company of Prometheans here right now. Oh, they would most certainly restore order with their trademark lethality. Although, that would mean he would have to be here too. And without the library and around to temper his rage. Well, these reclaimers... I almost prefer the flood. Interesting. That's it then. That is it. Okie doke. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, <laughs> oh, I like that Rainbow Road thumbnail. <laughs> right, cool. Yes. So, what have we learned from that? What have we learned from that? I think I feel like a fair bit of it probably went over my head. Cuz that is uh there was a lot of there was a lot of like in-depth information there. There was they were talking about forerunner stuff which we hardly know anything about. They were talking about specific forerunner people like the librarian and like forerunner internet, the domain and how they've lost access to it and Showing us other rings and the other 343s, or whatever they're called, I guess monitors, because they're not all 343. And like how he's lost contact with them and his slow descent into madness over tens of thousands of years and eventually a hundred thousand years, right up until we arrived. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. And I'm sure I'll probably have to rewatch these, like, uh, after I finish the whole series. Just to sort of, because I'm sure, I'm sure there's going to be lots of like things that I'm not picking up necessarily now that I would have picked up if I had the benefit of, you know, all the all the knowledge that the games will eventually give me, kind of thing. But it is interesting as like a sort of primer, I guess. Also interesting that the whole seven rings, but they used to be twelve, but five of them didn't survive. I'm very curious. I'm very curious where it's all going to go. Definitely seems like there's a whole lot more lore. Although I guess because these these weren't in the original, right? So this is like added to the first game, but with the benefit of a bunch of extra games. So yeah, you wouldn't have had this information, I guess, originally. But yeah, there's like a whole there's a whole lot more lore behind every like the things we've found out in this game. There's like <laughs> so much still to uncover, I guess. It's cool. It's interesting. Right, so there is one more thing left to watch, which is apparently the legendary ending. There's legendary, different legendary cutscenes for beating the game uh, on each on each one, I believe. So we will jump to that now, and I will see you in a moment. Okay, so here we go. Legendary ending. Let's see what the difference is. So we're starting off from when we finish the Warthog bit. We're cutting it close. 
Yay! Adverts! I love adverts. Here we go. Come here, you mother. I'm a no. <laughs> Fighting over an assault rifle? Is that that's the that's the like commander dude, right? <laughs> what? They hug it out as the ring explodes? That's funny. Shut them down, we'll need them later. Fancy a look? Glad I get to see this bit again. This is so cool. <laughs> Tumbling through space. Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated, and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. I think we're just getting started too, my dude. Okay, it, I thought, is that it then? It's just the... The... What's his name? Fighting with an elite? Johnson? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, alright. I thought it was going to be something more than that. But uh, it was funny, I guess. There's no sound. What is this? Oh. Oh. Is that him? Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do not want to be seeing. <laughs> Do not want to be seeing Halo 2 stuff. Man, this is going to be an issue, isn't it? I've just realized that by. Searching these videos, I'm going to start getting recommended videos that are like all this other Halo stuff, which I don't want. Because in case the titles and thumbnails are spoilers and stuff. Hmm. I guess I will watch these on a private window or something so that hopefully won't affect my normal YouTube stuff. Because there are too many, there are too many channels out there that just put like straight up spoilers in like titles and thumbnails and that kind of thing. Not a fan. Not a fan. Right. Cool. Okay. So I guess, I guess three four three managed to fly away. Then I mean he can fly. So I guess that makes sense. We didn't like. We didn't actually defeat him or anything. We just sort of clicked the blow up button and pegged it for the door. So. I guess that makes sense that he escaped, so I'm sure we'll be seeing him again. Interesting. Cool. Right. Well, that is that for this bonus video then. And uh, tomorrow, we will be beginning Halo 2 anniversary. I'm very excited. Hope you are too. If you enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for Halo 2 anniversary. Thanks for watching. See you then.